everybody. Today we have Dell Latitude 5320 series. It's an Intel Core i7 11th gen laptop. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Let's start. Start with bottom screws. Now find a gap between the case bottom and the palm rest and use plastic tool to separate both parts. Work your way around the edge. All right. The bottom case is off and here we have the part number. Now we can access all the internal components. So start with disconnecting the battery. Now we can take out the battery. So if the battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. Right. Here we have the part number and the battery type number. Now let's access our SSD drive. That's our storage. So if your laptop doesn't boot or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, this is how you can do it. So unscrew this cover and here underneath, that's our actual SSD drive. That's the NVMe SSD drive. Here we have our Wi-Fi card. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace this card. Gently disconnect the antenna wires. And now we can pull out the card. That's the M2 slot. Here we have the model number and the part number. Now let's take out our cooling, our heat sink and fan. So if the cooling doesn't work or the fan is making grinding noise or doesn't spin, you can replace it. Be gentle with the heat sink. Sometimes it may be stuck to the processor because of the cooling paste. And then if you bent it, it won't work anymore. Here we have the part number. And that's our fan. Here the fan is connected to the motherboard, so disconnect it here. Now take out these two screws. And the fan is out. Here we have the part number. Okay, now we are pulling out the motherboard. As I mentioned, the processor is soldered on the motherboard, so you can't replace it, you have to replace the whole motherboard if it doesn't work. So in order to do that, unscrew all the screws from the motherboard and disconnect all the connectors. These are our video connectors for the screen. Flip this retaining clip. And now we can pull out the connector. Okay, take out all the remaining screws. and disconnect all the connectors. Mm -hmm. 
Those retain, re retaining clips are very fragile, so I usually close them to don't break them. Now we can pull out the motherboard. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out our speakers. So if the sound is bad, we can replace speakers. Here we have the part number. Now let's disconnect the screen from the armrest assembly. So unscrew the hinge screws. Now gently unfold the palm rest and the keyboard. That's our Palmer's, touch, Palmer's keyboard touchpad assembly. Usually sold in one piece, but if you need to replace just the touchpad, you can do it, use these screws. As for the keyboard, you can also replace just the keyboard. It's held by, by these tiny screws, but very often it's sold in one piece. So usually you can buy the whole part like that. Here we have the part number. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And here, that's our touch screen. Usually sold also in one piece. It's very fragile, so it's... Here we have the part numbers. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.